Good evening, South Africa. It seems to be business as usual, but according to Minister in the Presidency, Collins Chawane, a whooping 80% of South African government departments do not comply with service delivery requirements. I mean, we all know things are not uh, uh, rosy, happy-go-lucky, but 80%. Basically, if there were 10 children, only two of them can talk. The other eight will just be drooling. Uh, 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 one plus one. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't think that the governments were gold medalists when it came to service delivery, but I would have never in my life guessed that 80% of them were failing. Basically, they got an A for failing. And the government... The same government promised us 5 million jobs by 2020, and we all know that's not going to happen in time soon. South Africa, just be thankful, man. Even for that 20%, take it, run, and become. And you know what they say, a bird in a hand is worth two in the bush, even though the bird has tuberculosis. <coughs> Ish. And do you want to know who the worst performing departments were? The departments who went above and beyond the call of duty to mess things up. The guys that succeeded at failing at service delivery, the Hussein Bolts of failure, did it, did it, did it, let's have a drum roll, South Africa. It's the departments of water affair, public works, and right at the bottom of the list, and the champion of all departments goes to Department of Women, Children, and People with Disabilities. As if that's not having a horrible time already. These people, eh, women, children, and people with disabilities are having a tough time. Now they have incompetent people looking after them. Ah, walulu, ah, walulu, man. South African Airways is on its ninth restructuring plan. This would be the ninth bailout the state owned enterprises has in as many years. Can you believe it? They haven't told Parliament how much this is going to cost. They haven't. They're keeping it as a surprise. SAA. Uh, S no SAA is like that cat you find in the township. That's just walking all the time. No one knows where the cat is from, who owns the cat. The cat just comes out of nowhere. And that cat, when the cat comes, you could be talking about the petrol price, but the conversation will change to witchcraft. Immediately, you go from petrol price to witchcraft. And the cat has always got one eye. Something. Something missing. It's never a full cat. It's always missing something. But it always gives you that look of, I know what you did yesterday when I'm Because it saw you at night. And then you have to call the cat to the side. Look, cat, let's eat. Just between me and you. And the cat's like, yeah, as long, as long. Why do we still bother with SAA, South Africa? Why? Why? Hmm? Why don't the people just walk? Why don't the people use boats? Hmm? Walk, you fat bastard. South Africans. <laughs> I know this is going to make me sound unpatriotic. Hmm? Let's use Kenya Airways. It's pretty good. Makes a lot of money. Good service. Hmm? Hmm? South Africa? No? All right. Maybe not. In other bailout news, Auditor General Terence Nombembe has slapped a disclaimer on SABC's financial results. This means Nombembe was unable to express an opinion on the veracity, veracity of the corporation's finance statement because he could not obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence. Sounds very complicated, but they don't know what's going on. Comrade AG found that amongst the SABC's financial uh, transgressions were irregular tenders, underpaying of SARS, unaccountable hiring of services, uh, of services and contractors, and even missing 900 million of collected TV license money. No one knows where it is. Basically, these SABC guys are running a billion rands buzzer shop. Hmm? In other words, the SABC wasted 1.5 billion rand of state's money. No one knows where it went. Gone. So people check wallets, pockets, at home, everything. Gone. Gone. News that moves. ENCA.com.